And I'm showing her, look, we pull it. That's what it does. That's what the game is. Pull, your turn. For mirroring, yeah. This is Sirius. Welcome to Vlogtober. Today's video, we are going to do a tutorial for teaching your dog how to pull an object. You can use any kind of object, um, but today we're going to be using this little pull toy puppy. It's like a Fisher Price puppy toy um, for the tutorial. So this is a question I've gotten in our training group. If you're not part of it, it's Tricks in the City on uh, Facebook, which is the same name as one of our training books. So. When we get started, again, you can use any kind of object. You can use a backpack, you can use a bag, you can use a kid's toy like this. Whatever it is, we wanna make sure our dog is not gonna be spooked about it or scared about it. So to start, we're going to let our dogs explore it. All we're gonna need for training this is whatever object what your dog to pull, a bunch of treats, I'm actually just using kibble in a ball, a clicker if you're clicker training, and let's get started. So to start again, you are gonna let your dog explore the object series, knows what this is. But fun fact, you know, when it first came home, she was actually pretty scared of it. She can be spooky about new objects like this, so it took a while and we did several practice sessions of her just getting to explore what it was, me moving it, yes, and giving her praise and treats for any kind of engagement with it. We worked up for being close to it. What are you doing? Oh, did you get your treat? Look, it's out there. Go get it. Thank you. You know, you know what we're gonna do. I know, that is what we're gonna work on. Good, go find the treat. There's like one out there that she kind of knows is out there. Um, so when your dog is comfortable with whatever the object is, what I like to start by doing is making, I know, good girl, I know you know what we're gonna work on, uh, is we're going to give them the opportunity again to explore what it is and then when it is ready to pull on it, really helps if your dog has a hold cue. I will put a link to teaching hold, but I will give them hold. Good, yes. And I'm gonna reward any subtle movement. So what I like to do, good. I know. What I like to do is position the thing they're going to pull in such a way that when it goes into their hand, it's automatically going to move. Hold. Yes. So you see when she takes it from me, the puppy is moving. And so I'm actually, I know, now you know how to pull. Uh, so what it's doing is when I give it to her, yes, she is grabbing the thing, lifting her head up, and the puppy, it's under you, moves. And so that's the very beginning stages of how I teach a pull. And so then, I know, pull, good. What I will do at that stage, when I'm able to just hand my dog the object and this, I've attached a paper towel tube, yes, take, good, to the end of this cord because it just makes it easier for her to grab and pull. You um, can obviously attach any kind of handle, Drop. To anything you're wait, asking your dog to pull. Click. Good. Uh, so when we start, we are rewarding very, very small incremental, um, incremental movements because it's just the oh, tick, tick. That when she lifts her head up, it will move. Good. Is all I'm asking for at that stage. I'm not asking for her to do any difficult movements with it. Tick. It's just that when it, she puts it in her mouth, yes, she, there was a really good example of like right at the beginning where they're starting to figure out, wait, you want me to take it and you want it to move. But mostly I'm setting it up that when she puts it in her mouth, yes, we're getting some amount of movement. So I stay at that stage for quite some time. And then I actually like to use mirroring as a uh, training method, which means the dog is watching me do something and then I'm asking them to do the same thing. So once I know that my dog will take the object in their mouth and is comfortable with it moving by their own steam, what I will like to do is I'll do a watch me, good. Pull, and hold on, hold on. I know, she's like, I know what we're doing, stay, stay. Pull, good. So at that point, she's watching me 
Good. Pull. And I'll do it a couple of times. Upright. Pull. Good. And then I will ask her to do the same thing, handing her the toy. And usually when I'm teaching it this way with mirroring, I'll do it, then I'll have her do it, I'll do it, I'll have her do it. If she uh, gets her turn and she doesn't pull it, then no big deal. It means that she just didn't quite understand it. And so what I'll do is I'll, I'll mirror, or I'll do the behavior again myself with her watching and then give her another chance. Pull. Good. And slowly over training sessions, what I like to do is, yes, is um, I will start to increase the criteria. So when she's first starting, you get like a tiny movement. What I really love about actually teaching with this toy is not only can I see the movement, but it makes a little bit of a, a noise. Yes. Um, and then I will start to ask for bigger pulls. I will start to want it like you're seeing here. I want it to move uh, a ways away. Seriously. Pull. Yes. But again, for teaching it, I like to use mirroring where the dog is watching me figuring out kind of the mechanics of it, right? This is not something that they necessarily will have really any concepts of themselves before that. So I'll watch her watch me pull it. I know, doesn't that look fun, right? Pulling, yes. Your turn, upright. Yes, good girl. And so this is one of those areas that I find mirroring really, really effective for teaching. The other thing I really love about this trick is it's super low impact. You can teach it to puppies, you can teach it to seniors, you can teach it to dogs with orthopedic issues. Obviously we're just using something very light um, and not gonna be harmful. And so the better your dog gets, again, we've upped the criteria, we're asking for larger pulls of the toy. And then what we can start to do, I'm gonna set my dog up over there, set her up for a treat. Then you can start to ask your dog to do the behavior on their own. Pull. Good. Where you're no longer needing to hand them the handle, they're able to pick it up on their own. Pull. Yes. Independently. And that's one of the last stages of the trick. Pull. That you'll get to over, whoops, it ran into me, several repetitions uh, and several, several training sessions. Pull. Good. Where your dog is able to understand the behavior because first, We've introduced the toy to them and introduced the behavior. We've asked them to hold it, yes, in a way that is setting them up for that, you know, putting it in their mouth again, that beginning, wait, that very beginning stage is when I ask them to hold it, they're gonna take it in their mouth and it's gonna cause the movement and we're gonna have a big party, click, praise, cue. Take. Yes, just by virtue of standing up. My positioning was a little off there. Um, it's right there. Good girl. Uh, but you know, in that situation, we're holding it in such a way that when they, good, take. Yes. She knows the, the, the um, pull there, but when I'm handing it to her, she's going to automatically move the toy and that's what's getting crazed. Then we move on to the stage where I'm having her, I know, see, wait, watch me. And then I'm moving it and showing her look and pull it. That's what it does. That's what the game is. Pull, your turn through mirroring, yes, good girl. And then the final stage that we move along to is the completed version of the trick. You got it, babes. Serious, pull. Is where they're able to independently, good, move it on their own. And at that stage, again, we can begin to increase that criteria if we want them to pull it further. Good girl. Pull. We can ask for multiple. Oh, it came off, good girl. Um, that is the problem of a drooly, drooly mouth and paper towel tubes. Uh, is it came, came loose, good girl. We can ask for multiple pulls in a single cue uh, before we reward to again, build that duration. Good, pull. Yes, pull. I came apart again, good girl. That is a uh, handler, or not handler error, but tech error of our equipment. Um, my paper towel tubes get a little drooly. Oh, it's shorter now. I know, I just tied it around. Good. Is it weird now, people? Good job. <laughs> but that, it's okay. That is how I teach a dog to pull as a trick, and it makes it a really, really cute trick. We used it in a routine that we did um, this year that was dog show themed. 
uh, was her pulling this little toy dog. Ready? Good job. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if there are tricks you would like to see tutorials of as part of Vlogtober or just in general. Sirius and I love make, did you find a, a treat in your drawer? Uh, we love making these kinds of tutorials for you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let us know if there are other tutorials you'd like to see and we will see you again in another video very soon. Say goodbye. Yeah. Bye.